Muay Thai Pante Me Sosamai Birthday Show From Sanam Moe to Patemi, Royal Thai Air Force Boxing Stadium, September 11th, 2023. The main event featured a rematch between two of the sport's top featherweights. The bout was contested for the Professional Boxing Association of Thailand featherweight 126-pound title. Both boxers weighed in at the 126 pound limit. In the red corner, Yotin Efe Group. In the blue corner, Ranachai Ta Ramintra. The pre fight odds were set at 1 to 1, with most betting platforms making Ranachai the slight favorite. And rounds 1 and 2 were scored 10-10. So the fight is going to start here in the third round. Ronachai, as expected, is trying to maintain range. He's using his teep here. He's pushing off. And as Yotin is looking to enter in, into the grapple. Ronachai is showing that his back elbow is a weapon. And in their previous meeting, Ronachai was able to cut Yotin, I believe it was in the third round, with a slashing elbow. There's Yotin closing in again. He's been able to close in so far in this third round, but he hasn't been able to get off significant attacks. His knees are not really getting above the waist, so they're kind of like low-hanging fruit. If you're kneeing the thigh, it, it doesn't really... It's not really significant. His left kick from Ronachai, he's got a beautiful left kick. That's been his primary weapon his entire career. Really, it's his... All of his weapons coming off his left side, his back side, or very sharp. It's a good left kick. He leaves it up as a, a block as Yotin's walking forward. But he's negating Yotin's attacks at close range. Yotin's getting in and he's attacking, but none of them are above the waist. Just because of Ronachai's hip position. There, Yothin grabs and walks on. He's got a tight squeeze right now. And he's trying to get attacks off, but he, he's just unable to get them above the torso, or above the waist onto the torso. Ronachai keeping his posture up and his hips in. Yothin trying to elbow over the top. And then he just completely throws Ronachai to the ground there as Ronachai was on one leg. Ronachai sliding back. Yotin is blocking the left side attacks. He grabs, locks on again. There's a knee up on the torso, so that's a big knee. Elbows. He's changing levels here. He's kneeing to elbow. Ronachai decides to push off and ankle out. He's sliding back. And Yotin is starting to work through the defense. There's a good left kick from Ronachai. Yotin blocks the next one, and then he grabs on. Ronachai pushes off. So that, <laughs> that third round there, Yotin was having success closing it down, but Ronachai was doing a good job at snuffing the attacks at close range. But then Yotin was able to get his attacks off. I would score the round. 10-9 to Yotin because he was able to close down the fight space so many times. So here we are in round four. Ronachai again sliding back. Yotin closing in. So a nice left kick there. He was pushing Yotin off and then left kick. Across the body and Yotin just completely runs him over there and throws him to the ground. 
Verona Chai there was complaining that he kneed him while he was on the ground and Goten apologizes. Thai fighters typically have a, a pretty good demeanor. You know, they, they're not trying to foul each other. So Yoten acknowledged that he accidentally hit him with the knee while he was on the ground and apologizes. Yoten closes in again and um, now you can see Ronachai is really struggling now to defend these attacks. He's starting to fade as so Yoten gets in again and there's a strong squeeze at close range from Yoten and he's starting to move him around now and he's starting to get his hips back. Yo Ronachai is unable to keep his hips in against Yothin's. So now Yothin is able to get these knees up above the waist into the torso. Yothin is starting to take over in the fourth round. He closes in again and grabs him. Blocks Ronachai's left kicks on the way in. Grabs him. Bends him over the ropes. He's folding him over the ropes. Complete dominance at this point from Yothin. Just walks down the, the fight space at will now just Ronachai can't stop it he's trying to catch him with attacks on the way in and Yothin's just walking right through them he's twisting, turning him off balancing him in the grapple Ronachai now he's not even firing off attacks he's just moving backwards Yoten's walking right through these attacks, just tanking right through them with upright posture, showing no effect to any of Ronachai's attacks. Grabs him, locks on again. He's kneeing him above the waist now. Consecutive attacks. Ronachai's not answering these attacks. He does answer there, but there is no power on it, and then Yothin completely turns him and puts him on the ground. It's just complete dominance in the grapple at this point. Closes in the fights, closes down the fight space again easily. Ronachai's not even putting up a fight. Then at close range, he's stabbing in these knees. And when Ronachai answers, he's not answering with any power. Complete dominance in the fourth round by Yotin. There he is closing in. Walks right through the kick, marches right through it, grabs onto him. Ronachai stuck in the lock. And then Yothin is turning him, off balancing him. Kneeing above the waist. Ronachai unable to answer, he's stuck in the lock. There's another one. Yothin marching in. Ronachai pretty much at this point running away. Yotin just marches right through Ronachai's attacks. Ronachai trying to keep him off, but he can't. Yotin closes in again. This time he gets the lock. And now just consecutive knees. Ronachai unable to answer. When he does answer, there's nothing on it. And then he just out muscles him here from the lock. Ronachai has to pick himself up off the ground, completely demoralized. So complete dominance from Yothin, he wins rounds 3 and 4. And Ronachai needs a knockout in the 5th round. And he, he hasn't been able to have any effect on Yothin with any of his attacks since about the middle of the 3rd round. Yothin can just tank through everything Ronachai is throwing. Still firing off his left kick. And he's starting to get him across the body here. Onto the arms. Consecutive left kicks here. Yotin trying to close in. And Ronachai is down here, so he needs to be attacking. Yotin doesn't need to be attacking. But Yotin's taking the center of the ring and Ronachai is back on the ropes. And Ronachai, at this point, he's not even acknowledging that he's losing. It should be pretty obvious at this point. 
He didn't really have anything significant in the third round, but he's kind of like saving face, like maybe I won the third round, but he didn't. And he, he completely lost the fight in the fourth round. He should be going forward and attacking first. Because Yothin's not going to, Yothin can just give him the fifth round. He doesn't need to fight in the fifth round. He already won the fight. He's winning. Ranachai has to fight. He has to go first. He has to initiate the fight. He's losing. So Ranachai now. Ranachai is acknowledging that he's losing. So he's going first with his left kick. But he needs like a knockdown. But he, he's not going to get it just firing off his left kick. He's going to have to let his hands go. But he thinks, he thinks, I guess he's thinking he could just edge the fifth round here. And if he wins the fifth round, maybe he wins, but he, he won't because he lost three and four. So it's either he thinks that the third round was split, and if he wins the fifth, he can potentially win because the third round being split. Or he's just saving face, doesn't want to admit, you know, that he the fight's completely out of reach. And, you know, he's putting his fist in the air, and, you know, he's just pretending like he had a good showing, but he didn't. This is like the worst I've ever, this is the worst I've, uh, version of Ron Nachai that I've ever seen. The past few years, he's been my favorite boxer in the sport of Muay Thai, but this was not a good showing from him. Got completely dominated at close range from in the grapple from Yotin. And he lost rounds three and four. But Yotin let him win round five because Yotin didn't even attack the whole time. So the fight is going to be scored 49 to 48. See Sip Gao, see Sip Bat. By all three judges, it's very clear, easy fight to score. Really, Ranachai, like, he spent, like, majority of the fight, like, stuck in Yotin's locks. Anytime you're stuck in a lock for most of the fight, you pretty much have no chance of winning. And this bout was for the Professional Boxing Association of Thailand Featherweight title. Sisip Gao, Sisip Bad. Judge one. She's a gal, she's a bad 49 48. That should be all three judges because it's a very clear cut, easy fight to score. She's a gal. She's a bad. 49 48. All three judges scored about 49-48. Unanimous decision victory for Yotin FA Group, the new featherweight professional boxing association of Thailand champion. This is Yotin's second time winning this title. I believe he won it two years ago and then he vacated it. Might have been less than two years ago. Might have been like 18 months ago then he vacated it. 
And he won it again. He probably won't even defend it. It depends. His uh, management is kind of trying to move him around the different promoters, but he's kind of obligated to stay with certain promoters. So they're unable to do that. So he might defend it. 